What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of the Torque Works YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you about Ford's Pro Power Onboard on the Gen 3 Ford Raptor. Uh, and I'm going to go over a few things. I'll show you what we're going to do, how it works, and what we can do with it just as an everyday person. Stay tuned. So today I'm going to show you about the Ford Raptors Pro Power on board and how we can use these items. Uh, these are some new items that I picked up for my personal use at properties and, and different locations. Um, they are all electric. So I'm going to try and make use of the Ford Raptors Pro Power on board. I'm going to show you how with these items. We have a, uh, these are all 56 volt except for the DeWalt uh, drill there. Um, I have two of those. Those are 20 volt, I believe. Uh, this is a seven and a half to a 10 amp hour battery. Uh, we've got a two and a half amp hour battery and also a five for that blower. And I'm gonna show you how if we're not at home, we're not close to any normal power that we can utilize the Raptors Pro Power Onboard to make use of all these tools, uh, even if, if they deplete and we need to charge them up. So I'm gonna take you over to the truck and show you what I mean. So over here at the back of the Raptor, you can see we have a few items here. Um, these are not in any particular order, but they come with the products I showed you. We got the DeWalt charger and the, one of the batteries. We have the larger battery for the push mower. Uh, I believe the larger battery here is for the leaf blower, but they're interchangeable. That doesn't matter. This is that brand's uh, rapid charger, and this one is the turbo charger, okay? This one is rated at 700 watts. Uh, this one is less, and they go on down, as you can see. But I wanna show you guys how to use this. We're gonna use Ford's Pro Power Onboard Generator that comes on my Gen 3 Raptor. Uh, it was an option. I believe it's around uh, $900 to $1,000 to option it with this. But I, I thought, you know, it actually sounds pretty cool, but how can I use it? I'm gonna show you today, okay? So on this one, unlike the electric and the limited models that you can get more kilowatts, this one is a 2.4 kilowatt. Uh, I think it's maxed at 2000 watts in um, the highest power setting uh, when you turn on generator mode from inside the truck, which I'll show you in just a moment. Uh, but you'll turn it on out here, and then you have your two plugs here which you may remember from my review video, but I'm gonna show you today how these work. So let's go jump in the truck. I'll show you how to turn them on, and then we'll come out here, plug them in, and see if this is really usable for every day. All right, so let's jump in the truck and take a look at Pro Power Onboard and see how we can use it. All right, so I have the key, of course. First thing we're gonna do is start the truck because we need extra power. Obviously, we're gonna need to power up the truck. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on with the key in my pocket, foot on the brake, I'm gonna start her up. Now immediately, it's probably gonna go to all sorts of things. Make sure the radio's off. And the first thing we're gonna do here is go to features, okay? I'm gonna try and get it at a decent angle so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, but we wanna go to features of the truck. Once it chills out. And you can see right away on the screen, we have an option for Pro Power Onboard. Now, you can also go over here to the side if you have the 12 inch screen, and you can get to Pro Power Onboard as well through these options uh, that are kinda always over here. Uh, zone lighting and there we have the pro power on board as well so i'm going to get to it through the features okay so there we have it now you can see right away it says 200 or less watts okay and then it goes on up to 400 it's kind of its max uh, of what it's got going on so that setting because it is on is for these guys that are in the front and back seats of this raptor okay so that's fine. Those are kind of just on uh, by default. You can hit the power button here and turn them off. Now we're wanting to use the stuff outside. So we're gonna turn on the generator mode. It'll give you uh, some information there on the screen, which we're gonna close if I can. 
Okay, now you can see that there's a big difference on the max level has now changed to the 2000 watts, which I was telling you when we were outside. So now I'm gonna stop really quick. I'm gonna run in the back, plug them in, and then we'll come back in and see what it's gonna say to us on the screen and go from there and see if this is really usable. Okay, now we're back at the rear end of the truck. Let's start plugging some stuff in that we're gonna need to use. So I'm out at my rent house. I need to use the mowers. Well, that's fine and dandy, but they ran out of juice. So we're gonna plug it in. I'm gonna hit the power button. It gives a click, you kind of hear it kick in. And then I already have it plugged in. So that's the number one thing. Uh, second thing, uh, I needed to use the DeWalt. So I'm gonna plug in the drill. I had to hang a door or cabinets or whatever's gonna use most of the battery and deplete it. So I got that. Now let's plug in the batteries and see what we got. So again, the truck is running. I'm gonna use the biggest honking battery that I have right now. Plug that bad boy in and you can see we do have power on here. So let's jump in the truck and see what it's telling us. All right, now back in the truck, I have those two things plugged in and as you can see, our numbers here for a pro power on board have changed. Uh, only drawing what looks like 330 watts of a maximum of 2000. So I'll actually put a chart on the screen that I got from Ford with the different options that you can get in these trucks um, that I could find, but your other trucks and work truck packages have the more powerful options. I think maxing out at the electric Ford Lightning which has the most that you can get. But as you can see, this is plenty, and this will run everything that I've needed to do this week. And that will recharge all of my batteries, the turbocharger, which is what's plugged in. You see what it's drawing, and that will recharge that battery in 30 minutes or less. And I'll be right back to mowing, trimming, anything I need to do. And all that, those batteries also work with chainsaws. So I'm just saying, as a normal person, that's really all I'm gonna need. Uh, drills and things like that and I'll show you like I said this chart and it will show you all the different type work related things that this truck will run um, and you can kind of judge for yourself is this option worth it to you and I think it's pretty simple to use as you can see just plug the stuff in push a button and start the truck uh, of course you have to have it running the truck running and it'll give you those messages on here and also let you know in the user's manual um, that you have to keep it running obviously to supply the power from the generator and the engine but yeah guys uh that's pretty darn simple to me and super useful uh what do you guys think about it i think that's super useful very straightforward uh i mean this is your truck if you own one uh, you're going to be pushing a few buttons anyway on the screen and i think it was money well spent um i have many times found myself out needing to power something the outlets inside the truck will will do pretty much what that is doing right now but it, it sort of maxes those outlets out i really like having that generator option in the bed um, let me know what you guys think uh, if any of you guys out there own one of these uh, newer fords and have that option on yours what do you use yours for uh, have you found it useful or have you not messed with it yet uh, if any of you guys have questions about it let me know down in the comments uh, and i'll be sure to try and answer uh, or someone in the community will help us answer it as well. Thank you guys for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, uh, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, guys, you take care. Goodbye.